In this video, we're going to take a closer look at the magic move transition we have in Keynote on the Mac. Let's go to my Mac. Now with the magic move transition, what we're able to do is apply basic animation to objects between two different slides. As an example, I'm looking at my Tulip Time presentation here. Let's say I wanted to have these wooden shoes drop in from the top. We can easily do that with a magic move transition. How do we do that? Well, it's pretty easy. We first duplicate the slide, so I'm going to go down to my slide here and I'm going to duplicate it. Control click on it, and then we have duplicate. Now I have those two slides. Now what I need to do is I need to apply my differences. So let's say I wanted to have these wooden shoes drop in from the top. So I go over to my first slide, because they're going to drop in from the top. What I need to do is I need to move these up towards the top. So I just click and drag, and I place it up at the top there. It is off of my slide. So on my first slide here, they are not going to show. And then on my second slide, they are going to show. Now right now, what it would do is it would just appear. What I want to do is I want to animate it. I need these wooden shoes here to slide down. This is where the magic move transition comes into play. What we can do is we can animate that. It's going to animate the differences between your two slides. So now what we need to do is we need to go over to animate here. We make sure that we're looking at our transitions. And then I go and add my magic move transition. This is a recent effect because I have used it. If you haven't used it, you may have to go down and search for it down here. But I have it here up at the top, so I'm just going to click on it. We've just applied that magic move transition. Now when we click on preview here, you're going to see what's going to happen. Watch when I click on preview what happens with these wooden shoes. You can see they drop down. Let's take a look at this when I play my presentation. I click on play here. We play this. And now I'm going to tap the spacebar and watch what happens. Those wooden shoes move in. So that's the basics of Magic Move. Let's go and apply some more changes to this and see what we can do. I also want to have this logo here come in from the side. So I go over to my first slide here. And then we take this logo here and we move it off of the screen. So I just drag it over off of the screen. Let's go and make this larger so it's going to shrink. So now I have it quite large there. It is off the screen. What it's going to do now when it comes in using the magic move is move over into this area and it's also going to shrink. So now when I click on play, watch what happens. I'm going to hit the space bar. The wooden shoes are going to drop in and the logo is going to come in and it's going to shrink. And we can see it coming in there. I'm going to tap on Escape so we can edit our slideshow again. Now when we look at our Magic Move Transition, I'm going to click on my slide here where the Magic Move Transition is. We do have a few options. What I can do is I can set the duration. If it's too slow, I can speed it up. I can also fade any unmatched objects. So if that object is not there, maybe I have an object in the second slide and it is not on the first slide. What will it do then? Well, what it will do is it'll fade it in. So instead of just appearing, it's going to fade it in. But I recommend what you do is you duplicate the slides and then make your changes. So then you don't have any unwanted objects just appearing in. But if they do appear, maybe you forgot about a logo that's on one slide but not the other. What you can do is you can have them fade in. We can also have it match by object by word or by character. I'm using objects, but we could also apply it to text. And then we can also set the acceleration and, just like with any other transition, when do we want it to start. So now let's do this again. I'm going to go down to my last slide here where my objects are. I click on it. I'm going to duplicate it. And now let's go and make some changes to this. Maybe I want the wooden shoes and the logo here to swap positions. Well, all I have to do is just move this over to where the wooden shoe is, and I drag this back over here. Let's go and put this down here. We're going to make this a little bit larger. And now I go and apply the magic move transition to this slide here. Click on it. We add our magic move. And now you can see they swap. So now 
When I start it from this slide here, the logo is going to come in, it's going to shrink. The wooden shoes are going to drop here. Then when I go to the next slide, the wooden shoes are going to move over to here, and the logo is going to move down here, and it's going to increase in size. All with two magic moves. So now let's see how this all works. Click on play. We do not have any objects there. I'm going to tap the space bar. You're going to see them move in. Now I tap the space bar again, and they're going to swap. And again, all I did was just add two transitions, two magic move transitions, and then I move some objects around. So that's the magic move transition. With the magic move transition, we can apply basic animation to objects between slides. The easiest way to use this is to make your slide, add the objects to it, then duplicate that slide. Move your different objects around on the other slide, and then apply the magic move. Any changes that you make to those objects, once you apply that magic move transition, Keynote will animate that. So that's the magic move transition in Keynote on the Mac.